Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 2nd of 2024 is titled NGC 602 Oyster Star Cluster. So what do we see here? Well, here we see what is known as the Oyster Star Cluster, or known by its catalog designation of NGC 602. And this is a very young cluster of stars, only about 5 million years old. Now the cluster of stars, we can see the bright stars there at the center in this Hubble image, looking at it in visible light. And within that we see the stars itself, but we also see some of the dust and gas surrounding it. And that dusty material swirling around it on the outer edges of the image has now been cleared away. It's being cleared away by these stars that have formed. So the energy of the stars pushes that material away and is hollowing out this opening within it, giving that appearance perhaps of an oyster. Now you can see all the tendrils pointing in toward the star cluster. If you look around the edge, those are the denser materials. Those are where stars are still forming. When the stars eat away at this, they eat away at the less dense material first. That's easier to push away. The denser materials are a lot harder to push away, so they remain a longer time. And in some cases, new stars will still have time to form before the older stars that have already formed continue eating away at that dust. So eventually this will all end up being cleared out and there will be just left behind the star cluster along with some faint wisps of dust remnants of the cloud that had been there before. Now that's the Hubble image but there's actually two images for today and if we switch this we can see this also looking in the x-ray and infrared images and as we can go back and forth between them you can note that some objects that look very faint in the Hubble image are actually rather bright and rather energetic in the other images and that simply means that there are objects that may not be emitting emitting a lot of visible light but are emitting a lot of x-rays or infrared light. So if you take a look again, you can see some of those objects very, very faint all of a sudden become quite prominent when we look at them in other wavelengths. And that's why astronomers study things across the electromagnetic spectrum. We want to look at everything to get a complete picture of those objects. If we concentrate just on visible light, then we're missing things and we would miss some of these objects would not seem very interesting to us looking at them in just visible light. Light. However, we can see that they may be prominent and are emitting a lot of x-rays or infrared light, which might signify something interesting going on there and something that warrants further study. So that was our picture of the day for July 2nd of 2024. It was titled NGC 602 Oyster Star Cluster. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.